uh, welcome all of you in today's online lecture. I am Ms. Rupali Aglave, a professor from CKT College, New Panvel. Uh, today I am going to deal with a particular topic of business communication that is different types of internal communication at workplace. So when I am mentioning that as internal communication, it means that external communication can be possible. So today we are going to focus only on an internal communication at workplace. Yes, communication. So basic topic of today's is a communication at workplace. So before going to deal with a particular topic, let's see the benefit means after a reading or understanding all this point, what are the benefits of that particular point in practical? So these internal communication can enhance staff engagement and understanding between management and the employees. It is more effective management. It is increased staff moral and motivation. And with this type of communication, if you practice in an organization, so staff will be satisfied with the communication. So as internal communication, there are two types of internal communication we are practicing in organization at workplace that is formal and informal as it is mentioned in a picture. So formal where we have to do the formalities of hello, good morning, documentation and all that is formal communication and informal where we do not have to follow any kind of rule and regulation. We can exchange our views and thought with friend or the colleague in informal way that is informal communication. So here it is a definition formal communication it deals with the sharing of official information. So official information is the important word that we are sharing official information in the formal communication and that is another informal communication informal communication it is sharing of information with friend peers which is no skeleton like formal communication so skeleton of formal communication is missing here that is informal communication so again we are going to look at formal channels of intercommunication so for while having a formal communication we have to go with such a kind of channels to have a formal communication those channels are vertical communication horizontal communication and diagonal communication so let's see one by one first vertical communication that is the one of the type in that particular communication or business communication strategy in which information task and request move upward and downward so we can see upward and downward so both the types of communication can be possible in a vertical communication so it can be sent uh, that manager can send his information toward the lower level employee and employee also can discuss his problem with the management next is a horizontal communication horizontal communication as mentioned in a picture that one manager can have communication with another manager so in a particular organization we can have a different type of manager like marketing manager finance manager or operation manager so if they are communicating that particular communication is considered as a horizontal communication and next and third type of communication is diagonal that diagonal communication is also known as crosswise communication so it takes place when people working at the same level interact with those working at a higher or level level of organization hierarchy across the boundaries of their reporting relationship so reporting relationship is one of the most important point that we have to highlight it highlight so in that they they are not dealing or uh, they are not having the formal kind of exchange of views or thoughts they are meeting in a lunch or in a another type of meeting so when they are communicating communicating in such a way that communication is considered as a diagonal communication so have a overview of a formal channels of communication we are having three types that is horizontal that is it go with a same line then vertical here we can have lower to upside upside to downside and diagonal that is we can say crosswise so higher level people can communicate with a lower level and the next is informal channels of internal internal communication which is 
opposite to the formal chinus then what is mean by grape wine so grape wine communication is an informal interpersonal channel of information not officially sanctioned by the organization so in that we can share unofficial things so it has four different chains those are single strand chain that one person of a organization can share the unofficial information with another person that particular chain it goes like a with the b b again c c to d so that is called a single strand chain then gossip chain so gossip here the person who can share his information to whomever he can meet so that type of communication that informal communication is considered as a gossip chain and then next we are having probability chain probability in the name itself you come to know that one person who is not confirm or he is not going to tell a particular kind of person he is going to share the particular information with a person and then again he share with the another person that is a probability chain and last is a cluster cluster means he that particular information can be shared with a person means who is we can say his friends a comfortable zone of that particular person with them only he can share the information and then again that his friend will share his information with his another comfortable group of friends so these type of communication we can have in a informal communication so that's it about today's session thank you